Hi YouTube, today's video is about how to clone a hard drive. In case when you want to clone your system drive to another hard drive, or let's say you are upgrading from traditional hard drive to an SSD. In that case, you need to clone your existing drive in order for you to have exact same windows and all the programs, all the files on a new drive. Okay, the method I'm using today is a really easy method, which means you can clone your drive yourself really easy in half an hour, maybe in an hour, depends on the, your hard drive size. I'm going to use a program called Aomi Backupper. They do have a professional version, but they also do have a free version that you can use it for free. Here, I do already have Aomi Backupper installed on my computer. You can download it online, uh, the free version. And this program will let you to clone any drive that are connected to your computer. So here is how to clone a drive. If you want to clone your existing system drive to another hard drive or totally different a solid state drive, you need to find a way to connect those drive to your computer. In my case, I'm, I'm using a multiple hard drive bay to connect more than one hard drive to my computer and it makes uh, cloning really easy. In this case, we're gonna click clone. Here's what they provide uh, to you. Uh, mines, as I told you earlier, mines are professional, so system clone is unlocked. A free version does not provide this system cloning, but free one provides you the disk clone and the partition clone. Probably that's all you need when you are cloning your drive, but if you can do the system clone, it's a lot easier uh, because you can just uh, clone the system drive only to a new hard drive. Let's forget about the system clone since the free ones don't have this system clone. So here is what you need to do, disk clone. Click disk clone. Okay, so here I do have two different hard drives connected to my machine. First, I need to choose the source disk. In my case, disk 1 will be my source disk. I'm going to be cloning disk 1 to a disk 0. I'm choosing disk 1 as a source disk and click next. I'm choosing disk 0 as destination disk. If you click next, it will warn you that the existing files on the destination disk will be removed. Everything will be deleted. So you have to confirm that. If you click OK, it will go ahead and start cloning. It typically takes about one hour, but could be less, could be more. And that's it. That's how to clone a disk drive to another disk drive. Thank you for watching.